Mr. McDonnell said Brexit negotiations should involve mutual respect to maintain a good relationship between the UK and the EU. Speaking to Sky News, the Labour frontbencher said the way things are going at the moment in terms of the negotiations, anything could happen. Our problem is if we don't get it, there's some on Tory benches who are quite happy with no deal, a no deal would affect the economy and jobs overall. What we are saying is you need to start negotiating seriously, do it through mutual respect and mutual interest and we'll get a good deal. Sky News Getty John McDonnell called for serious negotiations with the EU to get a Britain a Brexit deal. MR McDonnell's comments come after Chancellor Philip Hammond announced plans to set aside £3 billion for Brexit preparations over the next two years. Delivering his make-or-break budget in the Commons, Mr Hammond said we have already invested almost £700 million in Brexit preparations and today I am setting aside over the next two years another £3 billion and I stand ready to allocate further sums if and when needed, no one should doubt our resolve, and rumours suggest Brussels could be ready to put an end to the Brexit deadlock, with negotiators creating a political road map that plots a course around the key issues of the financial settlement in Northern Ireland, it appears Theresa May's renewed £36 billion divorce bill offer jump-started the talks and it is hoped the week of December 4 could be penciled in for the start of trade talks to be given the green light. EU chief negotiator Michel Barnier previously said Brexit talks could not move forward until Britain clarified the amount of the divorce deal, in addition to resolving issues related to citizens' rights and the Irish border. Britain has yet to disclose the details of Mrs May's new offer and some diplomats fear the gap with the EU may still be too wide. Germany and France have made it clear they will not accept Britain keeping back part of a financial settlement as a bargaining chip for later trade negotiations. Mrs May's immediate focus is ensuring the 27 EU member states recognize sufficient progress has been made while signaling progress towards a transition deal of around two years and a trade deal.